Hi everyone, Kelly Schaffner here. Welcome to my channel. I have my stitch fix and I want to share it with you. Thanks for showing up to see what my stylist sent me in my latest stitch fix. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I sure hope that you will subscribe and join me for another video. That would be awesome. So I want to talk about my last fix. If you haven't seen that, I will link it above. It was a pretty good fix. I was hoping for spring styles and it wasn't, it just didn't hit the mark on spring styles, but I did receive a great pair of denim by the brand Studio Blue and I love them. That was the, this is the first pair of high-waisted denim that Stitch Fix had sent me. They were very comfortable, but I felt like they were just a little bit too stretchy. You know what I'm talking about? As I wore them in the try-on and I tried them on one more time, I felt like they were just going to get too loose as I wore them. I did try to exchange them. If you didn't know that, you can exchange for a, a different size with your stitch fix and they did not have the size I wanted available. So I did send that entire fix back. And guys, I'm hoping for spring styles in this box. It's still a big box, so fingers crossed I get some cool things. I don't even think, I think, look, I think I can just rip this off. Maybe not. Um, yeah, I can. So if you're new to Stitch Fix, I've left everything I know about Stitch Fix in the description below. Okay, so this is what my box looks like. There's the inside of it. So I do have an invoice here. Let's look real quick and see what the grand total is. Let it be small. It's 177.75 if I keep everything. It's like 237. Um, I didn't look at the individual prices. And I have a style card and a note from my stylist. I would like not to use this, a return mailer. I would love to get five pieces right now that are perfect for springtime that I can wear and that fit well. I've put on some weight, you guys know that, and I'm looking for clothing that fits good. There's the reveal. It looks like a sweater. I don't want a sweater. Are you still wearing sweaters? I, I am still wearing cardigans. I'll admit I'm wearing cardigans, but I don't want a sweater. We have denim, and we have some animal print. What's that? A jewelry box. This is a no-noise jewelry box. This is, oh, these are earrings. Nakamal Jakar teardrop earrings in magenta. Magenta sounds cool. Oh, these are pretty. These are pretty, and actually, I, I think I have earrings very similar to this, different color. I like that these are multicolored. They could, they would really even match this lily top that I got in a previous fix. Okay, these are these earrings are going to cost at a minimum twenty eight dollars. And I have so many earrings, as pretty as these are, I am not going to try these on, nor am I going to purchase them because I have way too much fashion jewelry like this right now, but I'll let you know the price a little bit later. Okay, I'm gonna get into the bundle and we'll talk about the clothing at the same time that I share my feelings about it. Okay, hold on just a second. The good news about this fix is everything fits I am happy with the fit on everything. I'm looking at my invoice right now, and I told you already it's $177.75 if I keep the entire fix because I would receive a 25% discount for keeping everything. The total of this fix is $237 for all five pieces. Now, we know I'm not going to keep the earrings, but the earrings, where are they? The earrings are $38. So yeah, I'm definitely not keeping those earrings for $38. If you're new to my channel, you probably don't know that I have had an earring subscription through Fairtrade Friday for a number of years, and it's only $13 a month for a handcrafted, really cool earring. I will leave that link in the description as well. If you're interested in some really cool, funky, and affordable earrings, um, yeah, check that out. But guys, I have way too much fashion jewelry, so I'm really not interested in adding more. And I actually have those exact same earrings in kind of a blush pink color. So I'm good with those earrings, but everything else, there's something $38, $38 for one of the tops. That's pretty good. And the most expensive thing in this fix is $58. Let's talk about each piece. 
Okay, the first piece I tried on is this top. This one is a 41 Hawthorne. It does have that keyhole in the back with the ribbon bow detail, not my thing at all. There's a lot going on with this top. Let me tell you what it's called. This is called the 41 Hawthorne Clear Water Mixed Material Blouse, and she sent this one in an extra large. So let me know what you think about the fit on this one. I do like that it's not extremely clingy, but it's a cross front top. You can see that there and you can see it at the try on, but it does have a lining. It has half of a t-shirt in the front. There is a camisole, um, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about these tops. Guys, I have purchased lots of these cross front tops and always do the test where you st bend over to see if anything shows and I never wear them. I haven't purchased anything like this in a couple years and I do have several in my closet that still have the tags on, which tells me this is not a style that I am likely to, to wear. And I don't like the bow detail in the back. I wish they had just put a button on that. This one is $58. And although I do think it's a pretty good fit, I just think it just has too much going on. And for that reason, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to send it back. The denim, guys. Okay, so my stylist listened to my notes on the denim. These jeans are by the brand Tinsel. And this is what they look like. So they are kind of a medium washed distressed wait for it wait for it look at this hem oh i love that destructed hemline on them they do have they are high rise i'll tell you the name of them they are the tinsel charles high rise slim jeans in light blue and these are actually stitch fix says they're a size 12 but they are a juniors brand and they're a size 13 in juniors and I did check the fabric content on these, and these are 99% cotton, 1% spandex, and these feel like 100% cotton. There's not much stretch in these at all. I love the style of these, and I love that they're high-waisted. What I don't like is they're not stretchy. I know, where is the happy median? There is a happy median, trust me on that, but I don't, I don't think these are them. I normally never purchase nor do I wear denim that is built specifically for juniors because I'm not a junior and juniors denim is usually not made for curvy women and I am definitely curvy and although I think these are really really a cute denim I love this hemline guys and in fact this looks like something that I might have to try a DIY project for myself but the good news about Junior's denim is it tends to be less pricey than women's brands, right? And these are only $45, but they do have a high content of cotton, which tells me that they will probably shrink a little bit with wear. And I, I, think, I think I have to send these back and I hate to. And I could check to see if there's a larger size available. Maybe I will. What do you think about these guys? Do you think they're terrific? $45? Should I start wearing denim that is built for juniors at this stage of my life? Let me know in the comments below what you think about these jeans because I'm kind of torn. And the sweater that you saw in my bundle is actually a cardigan, an open front blush pink cardigan. The brand is Vero Moda and this is called the Lila Textured cardigan. This is a very loose weave and it does have cuffed cuffs and it has pockets guys and I like that. What do you think about this color on me? You know I think this would be a really versatile color for spring and summer. I'm actually considering this and I shouldn't be right because we're moving into spring and I do need some warmer weather clothing but I really like this cardigan. I'm not sure. This one is $58. It's one of the most expensive pieces, and I like it. I do like the longer length on it. I love that it does have pockets, and I have a gigantic cardigan collection, but I don't have this color because I don't tend to be drawn to these more pastel and lighter colors. So let me know what you think about this color on me. The last piece of clothing that I tried on is that $38 piece that I was telling you about, and this is 
a maroon color animal print v-neck this also does have some button detail and they are cloth covered buttons this is one of those mixed material blouses that i've purchased lots of so stitch fix continues to send me lots of them this is a stretchy like cotton fabric in the back and polyester animal print in the front this is a cap sleeve and it does have that cuff on it. I'm underwhelmed by this piece. And I did purchase last summer lots of animal print t-shirts. I think that's why I'm getting them again. I think this is a great fit. I actually, I liked this with the jeans and I felt like this is something that I definitely would wear, but this does not look like springtime to me. This lily looks like springtime to me, and that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. So I don't know, guys. Is this Stitch Fix, this one, a bust? It may be. There's nothing in here that I feel like I can't live without. I do really like the cardigan. The total price of this fix is $177, and I'll tell you what. My wheels have been turning during this entire try on and I, I will tell you why. In just a few days, I am going to visit a girlfriend for a few days and we're going to go shopping. That's what we do when we are together. I was hoping to find a cute outfit to wear to visit my friend, but sadly, nothing in this fix is really calling my name. Like, I don't feel like I want to wear any of it, but what I was thinking is, I kind of want to take $177 to see what I can find when I am out shopping. Clothes that fit well, that make me feel good, that are spring and summer ready. You know what I'm talking about? So if you want to see that video, if you want to see what I pick up when I am out shopping with my friend, please let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't done that already. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Blessing to all of you.